What's going on gamers? I've been using this Enzo build in First Ascendant and I kind of wanted to show you how the importance was of having a good support, especially for the upcoming new boss that they're going to be adding on October 10th. Now, I just previously uploaded the Glaive video that was updated and it was getting buffed by Enzo and pretty much that's what everyone's using to melt bosses in group play now and especially with like gluttony speedrun kills. Kind of wanted to show you kind of the importance of having Enzo in the team and also just being able to use your shields to tank a lot of damage and pretty much always have uptime of weak point and crit dance and pretty much just melting uh, easy bosses and dungeons. Pretty much how to make these invasion dungeon bosses simple. A lot of people are running these invasion dungeons and they're getting to the boss and sometimes the boss might kill you because they hurt but if you simply just put down a pack and you're buffing yourself with your Enzo abilities you kind of just get that crit chance, crit damage, weak point and just melt the boss with an enduring or like a greg's or whatever your favorite weapon is you're kind of just burning down these bosses so first let's get the screenshots out this is going to be your pub support play, pretty much playing with random people and playing it like a safe build so you can have cooldowns you can have duration and you can have range and a little bit of shields you don't have to worry about dying as much first off you're going to have to get the supply firearm enhancer if you're wondering how to get the enzo mods you can simply just go into the access info page type in enzo and it'll tell you right here when you click Click on it that you need to open up the ultra precision encrypted vaults in vesper and white knight gulch so good luck getting those because we know they're hard to get the main purpose of this is to always have cooldowns and durations as you see here i only have a seven second difference of when my perfect support alt ends and i just have to wait seven seconds to get it back i have unlimited uptime on my shield this combat suit is insane you're always getting your shields back and you can do some pretty fun builds with it duration of this is 12 seconds and i get it back in seven so it's 100 uptime never really using my explosive drone but if you get mobbed if you get surrounded you can simply just use this ability and get them off you it does a decent amount of damage the supply of firearm enhancer is very important because every time you walk over it and pick it up you don't want to switch weapons and you don't want to reload but if you have a machine gun on that whole magazine is going to get 15 percent weak point damage increase and crit hit rate increase of 29 percent which makes it good for you and your fire team to melt boss so right when you get ready to take a boss down as you see here in this clip this was gluttony me just running random pubs i always buff their damage with this and also using my perfect support and this will give people firearm attack increase of 20 percent uh firearm crit hit rate increase of 20 percent and a 10 percent reload time so again this is great to just activate when you're dps in a boss or if i grapple a boss and i knock the boss down i can activate this to buff everyone's damage and again when you're opening up those vaults you're going to get fire support it enhances when you or your teammates are around you it increases when enzo disarms the security systems of the encrypted vault and rewards increase when this happens so you're going to get more kuiper again it's just a really cool intrinsic perk about the enzo so you're going to be opening those vaults anyway to get those transcendent modules going over the, the build you're going to be using increased hp increased defense mp conversion for skill cooldown uh focus on nano attributes simply for cooldown and getting a little bit more damage on your two battle of stamina to give me more hp and a little bit more skill duration maximize duration for long longer duration of my abilities increase shield because we're going to be spamming our three nimble fingers for the cooldown amplification control for range so that when i activate my fourth ability if we're in team fights it has a wider range to activate and also i'm getting 36 percent shields and then skill duration on the end if you're wondering what reactor i have on it's mainly for skill cooldown and skill duration up if you don't have one for enduring legacy like i'm using in the build just try and put a non-attribute dimension with skill duration or skill duration up but you don't even need this on to match your descendant so if you just have one with skill cooldown and skill duration up on a different reactor i would just run this and try it yourself as you see here here's my stats with 27,000 defense 3600 shields and 10,500 hp i did a lot of testing i put out a youtube short and i asked people do you like the two piece bravery or the four piece annihilation i've tested both but simply for pubs it's nice to have that extra shield so i did go bravery on the top and bottom and annihilation in the middle two simply for having max shields on the bravery two-piece set and then i have defense on the annihilation and then at hp on the memory again you can try stuff out see what you like i thought that just having shields up all the times in these boss fights especially when gluttony was shooting me being able to get my shields back definitely played into that weapons really don't matter obviously i'm using enduring legacy uh, i can shoot the boss with the zestras to pull down that defense and then a good sniper for boss fights is definitely going to help you out if they get phased or if they get frenzied but you can also run the new executor shotgun 
on in dungeons if you like and hit that enzo buff to melt them pretty quickly nothing's changed on my enduring legacy i run this but also sometimes i switch to sharp precision shot over mental focus so i double socketed that as well it's kind of up to you what you would like sometimes enzos take off the fire priority and they can run uh like edging shot there but i really like playing into the fire damage of this weapon so this is what i run if you were wondering what other builds i've messed with uh i did come up with this boss bake one simply putting on shot focus walk the tightrope and conditional recharge pretty much to take down my hp while using abilities right before the boss comes out and i can easily proc walk the tightrope to increase my damage more get that uh 30 percent firearm attack using shot focus it's kind of like a one all be all going for like a sub minute kill or 30 second kill you know whatever you're going for but i did want to showcase this and kind of just show you the mods that i would recommend running if you wanted to try that also there is a shields build for gluttony i did mess with this a little bit it's kind of insane so they did just make a change on the overwhelming shield the only thing i don't like about this is that you can have 16 17 000 shields and this does put you at hp one so you only have one hp but you have tons of shield and as long as you're spamming this you can have this up at all times but as you see here the duration is only 6.9 seconds and the cooldown is 9.2 so i would have to take something off and kind of play into that more but i just wanted to try out what happens when you put on like overwhelming shield anti-freeze solution and maximize chill resist to see how it would do i did a couple runs wasn't really impressed with it but i wanted to show you something cool with this setup right now you see that i have 11,281 shields and i have only 33 chill resistance but when you come into your donut and you put on one i wish i had one with mp but you're gonna put on something with chill resistance so if i had one with chill resistance and i also had one with max mp that would be great for this build because i'm struggling with mp here now that i only have 158 but when we pull up the stats that chill resistance goes from 33 to 10,620. now that is going to make it so you can tank a lot of damage on gluttony maybe get hit two or three times without dying but again you're playing at a high risk high reward kind of deal again if you want to try it out more power to you now running this build like i said the pup support i was running some gluttony kills today as long as you studied on how to stay alive in the fight you know when he's gonna do his attacks when he's gonna shoot you with his gun when he's gonna throw the icicles at you you kind of really don't have to worry about any of that when you're fighting what i like about this is that i always have my cooldowns i got my duration and again like until they buff shields even more i feel like right now is a good time to get used to using shields on enzo and other characters but when they really give them a buff we'll kind of be ready for that so right here was a gluttony kill that i just wanted to go over today today was in pubs usually when i launch in i tell people let's go after the right shoulder but someone else did as soon as we launched in i dropped them an ammo pack as soon as we came into the fight and right now i'm hitting my all try and buff them i should have stood closer to them and kind of made sure that they were buffed up but right here as you see my shields actually tank that and i didn't die and i was able to get my shields right back so definitely not being able to get one shot by that was kind of nice but i'm going after that shoulder as soon as we hit that i don't know if i grapple here my teammate might have let's see what happens here do i grapple here we're both going for it he gets it i miss because i suck yeah right now i'm just making sure that's I'm putting an ammo crate on the ground, hitting my alt, because I know that my teammates are getting ready to shoot. And right now I could stop what I'm doing and drop another ammo pack, but I feel like that's where like interrupting your sharp precision shot, if that's what you're using. For this kill I had on mental focus because I was easily just to keep up my damage. A minute into the fight, we already got his shield down. Again, they're spamming Gregs. I'm spamming Enduring. I would say those two guns are probably the most broken <laughs> guns to use on this guy. And right now we want to pull them off. I always have MP. I'm always having my ammo packs to be able to put them on the ground and make sure that I'm getting the buff from my transcendent mod i just felt like i never had to worry about cooldowns so now we broke him out of his frenzy state and i'm doing the number one rule that you should never do jumping down here before the icicles come out because since i don't have those chill resist mods and that frostbite mod on i get frozen and almost cause the team to cause a full wipe as you see we got players down right now i'm a bait res if they res me probably gonna wipe so i'm trying to move out of the way i don't really know what to do but my team was lucky enough to pull the aggro we didn't have to worry about that but again throwing my ammo packs down see that my teammate is down i'm gonna come over there and try and rescue him because i know our teammates on that shoulder luckily in this run we had some gamers that knew how to grapple and yeah just easily go after that kneecap like you normally would but I don't know it's just like after being buffed by enzo so many times in a fight it's, it's kind of nice to kind of play that support character and know that you can still put down a decent amount of damage like again on this boss it's just simply shoot regs or shoot enduring at this boss the best you possibly can 
and make sure you kill them right now i'm just trying to throw down these ammo packs so if my teammates do see it on the ground we can go for the kill make sure that i'm always giving them a buff one thing i noticed a lot of people that don't know about these enzo buffs they don't pick it up so like I try and spam them on the ground, telling the GGs to the fire team. I think I showed the damage here. Simply wanted to show you guys why I planned to the fire damage on my weapon. I'm actually being crazy and I'm actually gonna farm another five enduring legacies because I wanna make a boss one. I'll put the Colossus damage on and spec it out for weak point and crit and see which one does more damage. So as you see here, doing a third of his health on Enzo is nice, especially being a support. I'll take that as a dub. Doing 55 mil. Doing 55 mil as a support Enzo and just buffing people damage i feel like that's that's an easy dub but again wanted to show you different ways to use him i'm probably going to tweak this boss bake mod but yeah try this out try the walk the tightrope conditional recharge drop your health go for the nuke and then the shields i think i'm gonna play around with the shields build a little more maybe i'll make a separate video on it but again uh just wanted to give you guys some options and show you what i've been using on enzo i really appreciate you guys watching all the videos and i'll see you guys in the next one